hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new please like subscribe and comment and if you're not new welcome back family welcome back family and welcome back family <laughs> i hope you guys are good i hope you guys are happy i hope you guys are popping and most especially i hope you guys are healthy and guys today i have this energy i don't know where it's from but no i do know where it's from it's from the lord most definitely but yeah today it's all about positivity today is all about greatness and i hope it's the same to you guys let's not allow anything to bring us down let's not allow satan to bring us down we are on today it's game on but yeah let me not talk too much and let's get into it so video. today i'm gonna be talking about the real truth about university sort of a q and a i'll be answering questions that i got from people about university and so on and so on and i feel like no actually i know i'm gonna be enjoying answering those questions and yeah. so don't mind me looking down I wrote the questions down because I'm still using my phone to take videos. But who knows? The Lord will bless me with a camera. <laughs> but yeah, um, so let's get right into it. The first question is, how is university? I do not want to lie. University is so different compared to high school. Because obviously, when you, obviously you go to university when you're from high school so it's so different it's 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 your guys it's it's too much freedom i don't want to lie it needs you to be disciplined um in terms of too much freedom i mean attending classes because at school high school or yeah it, um you wake up in the morning um school starts at eight um gates are closed so you can't go out so maybe to go buy things and whatsoever but where else with the university the gates are always open you can go out anytime got eight got two got three got five you can go out so they're not really um jailing you like high school because high school when you're inside the school got seven or eight the only time you can exit the school and go out is around two because many people knock out at two so yeah so with the university you can go out as you please you can go in as you please they do not care so yeah it's all about yeah, yeah it's freedom shame too much freedom and it needs you to balance it um the next question did you procrastinate when it came to assignments <laughs> I feel like most of us procrastinate hey, when it comes to assignments. I don't want to lie. It does happen to me. Let's say the assignment is due um, two months from now. Like the lecture tells us today, we have an assignment and it's going to be due two months from now. I'm not going to start it today. I'm not going to start it next week. I'm not going to start it two weeks from... Like I always start my assignments maybe two weeks before the due date. Which is so wrong by all means. Like, yo, I, it's so wrong. Do not do that. But that that's how i am and i should stop it i'm not even no let me not justify my habits i should stop procrastinating i should always do my assignments on time and the next question is first year easy or hard um i feel like this question it depends on your own experience. But I feel like going into first year, going to university, it's all about you choosing and telling yourself that I am ready for this. Because if you're going to go there and you're panicking and you, you're, you're stressing a lot, it's going to be difficult for you and it's going to be hard for you. So I believe it's all about setting your mind and telling yourself, you know what, I'm ready for this experience. I'm ready for university. I'm ready to see where life takes me at university. So it's all about yeah, it's mostly about you telling yourself to not make it hard. Let me put it that way. The only way university can be easy is when you tell yourself you're ready. You can do this. Nothing can stand your way and so on. Um, with me, it was really not hard. It wasn't hard. I made it easy because I was excited. Yo, I was very excited. Yo, <laughs> I was so excited. But yeah, I made it easy for myself because I told myself I can't wait for this. I'm ready for this. And I've been excited for that. Next question. What did you find hard in university? So I really can't answer this question because I am a baby who I was caught up in this whole COVID thing at university. So we are the gang that, um, I, yeah, I am a gang that um, was caught up got COVID and everything just changed drastically so everything was changed to be online assignments were written online exams were written online everything was just online so there was not really this thing hurry yo it's difficult um yeah no I didn't find anything difficult because everything was online exams were even easier online I'm not saying we're copying but 
<laughs> yeah, no, everything was easy for me. I don't know, like, I didn't find anything hard since everything was online and most of my times I was spending my time at rest. So you wake up, you sleep, you eat, you wake up, got your class got 10, after your class you sleep, you know. So there was nothing really hectic about university for me. And yeah. The next question, how is race? Oh my gosh, race is freedom, guys. I know I said university is freedom, but race is freedom. And I'm going to explain a little further why I'm saying race is freedom. Firstly, you're from high school. For those who are not at boarding school, it's different. But for those who, um, like me, somebody who stayed with Abazali parents, when you go to race, it's too much freedom. But like when you're at home, you follow your parents' rules. When you're at home, your parent tells you, um, go wash dishes, go clean this, go do this, go cook, and whatsoever. And when you're at race, you can do anything at your own time. You can wash dishes at your own time. You can clean at your own time. You can do everything at your own time. So that's the freedom that I'm talking about. You are not forced to wash dishes now. I mean it's good to wash them now so that you don't so that the place does not get dirty but i'm just saying you're not forced to wash dishes you are not forced to cook because you you know um your parents are gonna come back a couple six from work you are not forced to clean because you know when your mother comes back and you haven't cleaned your mother's gonna shout at you or your aunts or whatever so it's all about doing everything at rest it's all about doing everything at your own time and yeah the next question how um, how do you handle school work? Yeah, how do you handle school workload? Um, so with me, how do I handle school is that I plan everything ahead. So I know I said I do procrastinate, but in in my procrastinating, I tell myself if I have assignments, maybe three assignments or two assignments, I'm gonna tell myself I'm gonna set a date. I'm going to do it at that time. If I have to study, I'm going to study. If I have tests, um, mid-tests and whatsoever, I'm going to study for them. So it's all about setting your time, looking at your schedule. And that's the only way you can handle school workload. Because if you're always going to do your work at the last minute, a day before study a day before, I'm telling you it's going to be difficult for you. And you're going to feel like a lot is on you when you brought that lot on you so yeah just schedule um your time just plan things ahead plan your schoolwork plan when is it that you're gonna study for this test do not do last minutes they are not good really not good because you you're high guys you, you're gonna you're gonna panic if you're gonna do everything at the last minute you're gonna panic you're gonna get stressed out you're gonna feel like a failure and only because you brought that to yourself so avoid um last minute things some people say it works out for them but personally i say avoid last minute things so the next question is is it easy to get friends at university and I'm going to say it differs with personalities and the kind of person you are. If you're a person who's in his or her shell, then obviously it's going to be difficult for you to interact with other people and get friends. Um, so you need to you need to open up to this idea I'm at the university and I need to get out of my shell. This is me. This is where my life is basically starting. Um, so yeah, it depends with your personality. It depends the kind of person you are. For those who talk a lot, it's easier for them to get friends on the first day. But if you're going to be, you know, if you're going to be in yourself, then it's really going to be difficult and you don't want that experience to be difficult, especially the first day of university, because that's where you meet different people. That's where you get lost. You don't know where, where this lecture room is. You don't know where this class is. You don't know. Everything is just first day. It's all about confusion and so on so it's it's good to be out there a little bit so that you get to know people and for the first day a first few weeks it gets easier for you to navigate how university life is how campus is where are classes where are offices where are libraries and so on so yeah i would advise you to make it easier for you to get friends you know do not be shelled up do not be cooped up and allow such to pass but with me i'm one person who is so i believe in um not i don't i don't want to say i believe in not making friends but i'm so choosy when it comes to friends 
Yo, I'm so choosy. Yo, literally choosy. Um, I, I like my own space, but still, I make it by all means to just open up and talk to people. Yes, you can be in your own space. Some people are introverts, and it's okay to be in your own space, but also talk to people. Do not be... Hello, I can't go an alien. You're an alien. You can't talk. You can't do this just because you like being in your own space. I like being in my own space, but I do talk. I do engage, and I feel like that's the best thing to do. So the next question is, um, how was your first day of university? <laughs> As I said earlier on, my first day of university was, I was excited, guys. I was excited. Yo, I was so excited that, you know what, this is my new journey. Like, from high school, and now I'm at university. I was excited that the fact, I was excited that I got an opportunity to go to university. You know, that's the first thing I was excited for. I was happy that it was possible for me to go to university. Because you hear such things as people not being able to go to uni universities, people taking gap years only because they were forced to take the gap year. So I was fortunate enough for me to go to university. And yeah, the, the whole experience, meeting people, you know, having to wear clothes because at school you have to wear uniform and now at university you're just wearing your clothes. So yeah, I was really excited. I was really happy. <laughs> I was happy. But I like at first when they dropped me off, I was scared for, okay, why are they dropping me off alone? Like, aren't you not supposed to accompany me? Like, like high school, first day of high school where parents go with you to accompany you. So, yeah, I was scared about that. But I went in. I went in one man. One man, I went in. And, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> Next question. How did you feel going to race for the first time? Okay, similar to the university. I was happy. I was happy going to race for the first time. The idea of deciding things on your own, that, ex <laughs> that excited me. Um, the fact that I could do things my own way. Um, because obviously when you're at home, you're going to do what they're telling you to do, even if you don't like what they're telling you to do. So I was excited to do things my own way. You know, to decide my own things, to buy my own food, the food that I like. Yeah, that what, that's what excited me, just being independent and not having... Obviously, I'm at, high, I'm, I'm at university, I stay at risk. I do ask my parents, um, you know, some advice and whatsoever, but it's okay. The fact that I did not have to cook every day. I do cook everything now because, you know, I've leveled up and yeah, life, yeah. But my first year, I really did not cook every day. <laughs> I come to think about it, I would always eat noodles. I was just lazy to cook. But I feel like as you grow older, you can't always leave with noodles. So, yeah, I was, I was very excited with the independency part. Next question, how to budget when you're at university? Um, This whole budget thing. Budget thing. I mean, this whole budget thing is all about discipline. Because I feel like most students are broke. Yo, I guys, my students are broke. <laughs> yeah, so it's all about um, being disciplined that you know what? You need to buy this and this and this. You need to spend your money wisely. Because I'm telling you, if you're going to spend your money harshly, I'm telling you, by the 10th of the month, you'll be doomed. You'll be done. You'll be broke. And you don't want that for yourself, most definitely. So, yeah, I feel like it's all about discipline. Um, And what I do maybe might work for you. When I buy groceries, I write down a list of um the things that I need to buy so that when I get there to the store, I don't get confused and I don't get taking things that are not necessary. Obviously, spoil yourself. Take um chips, take chocolate, take sweets, but do not overspend. Do not overspend. Let, barring, what do they say? Don't let your expenses be more than your income. So, yeah, be disciplined and that's the only way you'll be able to budget. So the next question is what motivated you to keep going at university? What motivated me, honestly, is looking back at home and being like, I, I need to do well so that I can help Ikaya, you know, um, help my mother, my father, you know, just... 
yeah looking back to where you come from and be like you are here for a reason i'm at university for a reason and i need to push i really really need to push and make this work for me and i know most times people say and i even say that now looking back at which you coming looking back at where you're coming from but it's also about bettering your life you know having to go to school after school having to get a job or any business you want to venture into so it's also about bettering your life and making sure that you are securing your life for the future you don't want to find out you don't want to find yourself broke in the future you don't want to find yourself um begging for money asking for money from other people your family your siblings. that's so annoying so for me it's all about that bettering my future being successful i don't want to bother i'm telling you that's the one thing that i don't want i don't want to bother anybody with money that's what i don't like and yeah it's all about that for me obviously helping back home but also about myself you know and yes so the next question is what is needed when you go to race um what is needed because obviously there are beds at rest there's a store for such things so you need your blankets you need your um um king what do you call this oh my gosh obviously your clothes clothes to wear you need your pots you need your plates um you need your glasses you need your um spoons forks knives such things um, yeah that's all you need honestly that's that's the only thing that you need you don't have to oh and some races they are no they don't offer um getting the fridge in each and every room like some some um some races are common houses where you share um one fridge all of you guys not necessary one but two or three so if you can get a bar fridge just get it and put it in your room because it's much easier because you don't have to do with people stealing your food i mean i still ask myself how is it possible that you go open the fridge and take something that does not belong to you 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 pouring a drink that you don't you, how do you pour a drink that you do not buy hi right, guys we are experiencing a lot at this shem we are experiencing a lot so if you know that um at race they do not give you guys um fridge individually or with your roommate i advise you to get a small bar fridge so that you don't have to i you don't have to put yourself in the streets and yeah so the last question is when do you apply for university and funding yeah, that's the last question. When do you apply for university and funding? So we apply for university and funding. I'm going to talk about NSFAS because I use NSFAS. You apply it at the getting your grade 12. Yeah, the year when you're in, when you in grade 12, but you're going to use your grade 11 metric results. So if when now you let now get 2022, let's say 2022, right? And you're doing a metric year. That year, applications um, applications for university open. They start opening January, February, March. Around April, April to November, most universities open. And they will require you to use your grade 11 results to apply. But if you know you have, I'll advise you, if you know that you did not pass Gatle A grade 11, because mostly they get back to you and they tell you if you accepted, rejected, based on your grade 11 results, even if you've done well at grade 12, and yeah, so if you know you did not do well, I wouldn't advise you to apply with your grade 11 results. Wait for your June results to apply. Just make sure if you did not do well, got your grade 11 results, push, push and make sure you pass for your June results to be excellent so that you get to apply. Because I know it's so weird applying with your grade 11 results when you do not do well and they reject you, but got your grade 12, you did. Yo, I opasi le shame, you have passed. So yeah, just check that out. And yeah. And with the funding, normally NSFAS um starts opening uh, October. So you apply like October, you do not apply like any last minute. Make sure your grade 12 year you apply for NSFAS. You don't want to find yourself, you've applied for university. Then when you get to university, you have no funding. I mean, child, who's going to pay for university fees if your parents can't pay for them? You you don't want that. It's so hurting having to go to university and be like, you have applied at university. They've accepted me, but I do not apply for fun. You know, I find such people who ask me, they they ask such questions as I've been accepted at university, but I did not apply for funding. Are they open? 
Guys, everything happens on your grade 12 year. Everything op opens by your grade 12 year. Don't come here and be like, when you're done with grade 12, they took you at school. And you find such people, vice versa, they've applied for funding, but they do not apply for school. Do not do this to yourself, guys. So yeah, everything opens come your grade 12 year. Funding university oh so yeah guys i'm gonna end it off here i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making this video you know it's so good informing you guys most of my videos right now will be sit down videos because i'm not going out i'm back at home so there are no vlogs where will i go i'm always at home so yeah, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe and comment guys let's grow and yes i truly appreciate your support i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>